There must be something can be done. <laughs> We're a progressive school system. We don't want to see anybody left behind. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? He's on vacation. Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. Mm -mm -mm. You don't say much, do you? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Without that gangster music, you get ripped to It's bad. I'm bad. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Without that gangster music. What's up, what's up, what's up? Why the top my damies? Welcome to the Shoot from the Hip show with your boy Montoyus and D. Reese. Back after a brief hiatus, man. Just a short one. Just a short one, man. Yeah. Sometimes it's necessary, man, to, to uh, take a break, regroup, collectivize, and uh, get back into the swing of things. You know, uh, shout out to some new equipment up in this bitch. Your boy got a new microphone. Yeah. And uh, man, I'm loving this song. Are you? Hey, man. I can, I can hear the difference right out the gate. Okay, it's not even close. It does sound good. It's not even close. And uh, if I, my memory serves me right, that clip you just played was from Sling Blade. Sling Blade. It's not Sling Blade. Or it's Gump. Shit. It's one of them where the, where the dude's country is fucking kind of artistic. So I had the genre right. Anyway, man, you can catch us at five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. That's 559 shot That's the voicemail line. You call it there and get it off your chest. Shootfromthehip.xyz is the website with a beautiful donate button. It's beautiful. Hey, and it's like a beacon in, in, uh, of light in the dark. Mm. Go right to it. Give from your heart. Give from your heart. Into your pocket. There you go. And all that there, man. Uh, from the underscore hip on Twitter. Shoot from the hip show on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, follow us man Interact with us we, we have a good time On the internet You know With all this other stuff Going on We still having A little fun out here Just a little bit A little ray of sunshine When everything's so dark Yeah We like to provide you With a good laugh Every now and then Say that Why again. I sound so cracking My voice my Cause it sound like It sound like you hold, Like you just took a toke what, Really? That's what it kind of sounded like you was holding Like smoke in your, in, your, in your lungs We do got some smoke Up in here Hey man Y'all <laughs> Man I, Sometimes you know you know people who do shit just to be doing shit. What? D. Reese is that kind of guy. He just does. I'm like, dog, why are you doing that? Cause, dog, I'm gutter. Is that that'll be his reasoning? It won't have no. It won't be a good reason. He in here with incense, dog. Like like it's seventy eight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this incense. Now yeah. I've talked about this before on the Shoot Show. Okay. This is what you would call but do pussy right here. See, I said that, and you played me to the left on that. Yep, that's Badoo Pussy. <laughs> hey, y'all, before we hit the record button, I said, dog, what you getting your Erica Badu on? You know, releasing your, your chi? Yeah. Getting your chakra right? Hey, what is this? So you bought that as, as the Badoo Pussy? Yeah. That's what that's supposed to smell like? That's what her pussy smell like. Man, I don't want it if it smell like it's on fire. It ain't on fire. Well, that's good. Now, that's a slow burn. <laughs> you got <yeah. laughs> to go to the doctor for that. Well, she said people deserve it. Uh, she said that pussy that her pussy changes men. So this is made from the ashes of her pussy, a pure resin and sun-dried. The ashes of her pussy. Yeah. Dog, that does not sound like a selling point. I right. guess I'll see her next lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Stop playing around with that deal, man. This is back when uh when when our parents would smoke weed and they had the bees that separated the rooms. Oh yeah. Yeah. And they had that straw seat that looked like the Game of Thrones chair. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And uh there's also those oil lamps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep, where, the, where the, the, the buds and seeds from the weed was on the album cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back yeah. in them days. Uh, Woo, man. But anyway, I got a joke, man. Let's go. All right, dog. Hey, uh, what does the receptionist at a sperm bank say when clients leave? I don't know. Thanks for coming. I'm going to do a thing over here. Team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring it out still, y'all. Hey, he over here learning this new mix and he's having a field day. Hey, dog, I'm telling y'all, kid in the candy store right now. All right, the, well, we the, up in here. The, the, the I don't know if that, the, the smoke is affecting my eyes. It was affecting your throat earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's- you don't want to move it this close, man. We didn't need all that. Get bad dude ass up out of here <laughs> before we be dressing funny <laughs> around this camp. Man, it's a little more than a whiff. I think my eyes are watering now. Are they really? A little bit, man. Yeah. Get bad dude on away from me, man. No, I, I I like to see how other dudes act off that bad dude. I don't want none of it. I remember I remember I was saying before that I had to see it just because I got to know. I don't got to know no more, dog. Well, I want to see it. I Well, yeah, I guess. Maybe she need a fans-only page. Well, I'm not subscribing, but... I, I do it. I know a couple nasty niggas that send me uh <laughs> <laughs> and send me uh Facebook messages. Where I see <laughs> I see more shit than I can see. <laughs> That's a lot better. Yeah, it is. Kind of getting in my eyes a little bit. Dog, that was choking your throat up, man. It was. Oh, hey, I got another joke. Go ahead. <laughs> Just out the gate. Hey, man, what do you call a Roman soldier? I don't with, know. With hair stuck in his teeth. I don't know. A glad he ate her. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so mad tonight, huh? Hey, man. Hey, that's what's happening to you. You want to ask Google uh, what time it is? Hey, man, where my phone at? Uh, yeah. What's today's date? It is Friday, June 12th, 2020. Hey, there we go. All right, there we go. Making right. it official. <clears throat> now I feel better. All right, damn. Maybe it was a dude pussy was it, fucking with. It was him. overwhelming, <laughs> dog. <laughs> you almost had a bandana on. Yeah, which one? Just me, just a little bit. Okay, now it sounds bad. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, we back, uh, and uh, <laughs> I introduced to the my toys the Badoo pussy. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> I hope pussy don't smell like that. That is a good smelling pussy. No, no, sir. That's warm. That's like fire warm. That shit smell good to me. Okay, sir. My bad. I don't know what kind of chicks you fuck with me. Fuck. Oh, man, stop that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Back in the day, <laughs> <laughs> I've had my share, and I, I know when it's good and when it ain't. All right. So uh, before we came back upstairs, after kind of fine-tuning everything, we unhooked everything, and uh, D. Montoya's finally got an opportunity to see my Google Home Max. Yeah, man, that's dope. Motherfucker sitting in that counter looking good. That thing hold, holding weight, too. Yeah, dog, I'm very proud of it. Uh, it's where it needs to be. You it, ran the paces on it, and uh, it sounds uh, outstanding. Hey, man, I'm proud of it, dog. Uh, better than the Apple HomePod. Does it? To me. I wouldn't have said that. If, you know, now, the Google without, HomePod without hearing. does more, but sound, I'm taking that Google Home Max. Okay. But that's the selling point. Yes. Shit. Speaking of that. Uh, Google did a thing. What's if that? You're subs- if you're a subscriber to Google Play Music or YouTube Music, they sent you or they gave you the option to accept a free Google Home Mini. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And yes, I accept. Hold it. on. Say that again. If you're a, subscri- if you're a subscriber. I saw that, but when I, it, you got to add the cart. It asks you to pay for it. No. It's free. I mean, of course, you, you click like you're paying for it, but. No, they that that they, they, they they've asked me that the sum, I, they had one that was like a red one. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. Should have got it. The sum is zeroed out, and I hit, I went ahead. Oh, I, I got to be a black when well, it showed did you up get yesterday. Yours? Well, I I logged in to like YouTube. Yeah, they've asked or me several times. Well, I said yes. I'm like, I saw. It. I'm like, well, I'll take this. Yeah, I took it. But then it's like add the cart for like I added to the cart, and once you get down to the total, 
Yeah. It's zeroed out. Oh, fuck. What kind of shit is that? Hey, man, that bitch showed up yesterday. Oh, nigga. Hey. Did you get white? I got black. See, I saw those colors. I'm like, oh, hey, hell man, I'm yeah. Tell you, like, all, the, all, all the other ones we got are white. Because I, I want to get one for my each one of my kids' rooms. Yeah. I figured some cool shit they can fuck around with. We put one in our office since the old lady been working from home. Okay. So we kind of fashioned that little area into an actual office. How about that? Go figure. We actually use it for what it's supposed to be used for. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, what's the uh-oh, man? What's that? Oh, uh, I got a text from the BYTY. Oh, shit. She don't like it, what we was talking about earlier. What, what? You know what we talking about. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what I was talking to you about Marcus and stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, uh, moving along here on the Shoot From the Hip show, talking all kinds of shit. I was supposed to start my diet. Now, this is a no-carb diet, and I was going to lose 20 so, pounds so in one tell weekend. So, me, tell me what a no-carb diet entails. No carbs. I mean, come on, like the food types and stuff. Like, what stuff do you have to avoid? Uh, I'll tell you what I was going to eat. Okay, there you go again. Yeah. Get that bad out your throat. I know, huh? <laughs> and the teeth. And the, the hair or whatever. What do you call it? Hey. Nah, I'm glad he, I ate her or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, iPhone is taken away from the show, man. It is. It's uh, an eye distraction. What was I saying? You, I was asking you about the stuff you don't, you stay oh, away from. My bad, yeah. So I, I'm gonna eat spinach, egg whites, uh, for breakfast with tuna, uh, grilled chick, grilled, uh, grilled chicken thighs. Yeah. Uh, no salt, no cream in my coffee. Uh, fish. Uh, I can only use a like, lot. So it sounds like red meat. You're not fucking with no red meat. Okay. What about? So what are and also for snacks I can eat uh, raw cans of tuna and drink uh, plant based protein. Okay, so yeah. what's considered a carb? I don't know. I oh, just this, okay. So what, well, so here's the deal. I was given the diet by a friend. Yeah, I'm like okay. So I was showing to other people that in the fitness or eating these healthy diet. Like, oh shit, there's no carbs. Like man, you're gonna be all fucked up. I'm like for real. I thought fucking meat was carbs or whatever. Yeah. I know your body breaks down carbs a certain way, whatever. It ain't like potatoes or something like that, no, right? No, can't have no? that. No. Uh, pasta? No, can't have that. Okay, I just know something like that. Yeah, yeah. You uh, can't have that. No bread, you know. Bread. I just had this talk earlier today. Bread's supposed to be bad for you. Everybody, man, I got, I'm trying to stay off that bread. I got to lose some weight. Nigga, I love bread. I fucks with bread. Yeah. Hey, I got no problem with weight. Because you don't eat. I eat like a son bitch. No, you don't. I just don't. I, my portions are. See, the problem with these fucking ass diets is that they just so gimmicky. They are. All you got to do is control your portions and eat whatever the hell it is you want anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, watch the fried shit. Yeah. But everything else, dog, it's portion control. I love french fries. You, I've seen you make a plate. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, you don't need all that. What? Yeah, see? Okay. You need about half of what you put on your plate. <laughs> And you good, but you make fun of me. Yeah. Nigga, I ain't around here, like, body tripping. Well, the COVID got me fucked up. Supposed yeah, to play golf tomorrow, but shit. I might be in the gym. I, I just can't take this shit no more. Then my wife made some gumbo, and that's not helping. Well, I asked her to make it, and I'm like, fuck. See, gumbo seemed to me like it's pretty healthy. Except maybe there's some, some high sodium in it or something. Yeah. But other than that, dog, ain't, ain't no bad shit in no gumbo. It's pro the protein heavy. The roux. Well, I mean, what's wrong with the roux? It's fat. Okay, it's it's not like heavy fat. It's still it's light fat. fat. You know that ain't what you need to be inhaling gravy and shit. Aju or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I hear that. Oh. Shout out to Cisco, man. He's the first the first time I ever heard Aju. Oh, really? It's from his ass. Okay. We went to a steak joint. He said, "Man, make sure we get that Aju." Yeah. I was like, well, "Aju, bless you." <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, we probably have about two to two, maybe three more episodes in this house. Man, I, yeah, ain't that a bitch? Yeah. So uh, hopefully, providing this uh, inspection goes tomorrow, uh, we'll we have a offer, but we'll make it uh, put it in writing. Yeah. And then we'll have so we're gonna have to move to shoot from the hip studio. Yep. Ain't that a bit. Yeah, been a long time, about four or five years, huh? Five years, though. But in the early days, we were bouncing around. We at, were. Because my, my wife was like, well, 
didn't y'all used to do it over there where he stayed? I'm like, nah, nah, we did it over there in, uh, what do you call it? What you over there in Sterling Shire? Yeah, but what do you call that outside of town? Scenic Woods. The Scenic Woods, yeah. 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 So, hey, you know, uh, we still going to keep this thing rolling. Yeah, the location ain't nothing, dog. I got a vehicle. Yeah. And I drive. Yeah. You understand? But, yeah, so, yeah, we got a show or two left. It came quick. Like, real quick, because I wasn't thinking we was moving until before school starts. Yeah. But uh, we posted the house on last Saturday. Shout out to the economy. They let you know where the economy at. We posted the house last Saturday or Friday, and we got like six hits, six showings, and we got two offers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then they ring the doorbell and your black ass open the door. Nope. <laughs> we never hear. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to take the so, uh, so who who's here? I had to take the logos and stuff off of the microphone. So yeah. my wife did, because you know. Because we don't want to taint the selling of the house with our yeah. with our brand of fuckery. Exactly. <laughs> That's a damn shame. You know what? Them people low key probably gut them. And if they hear this show, they're like, you know, I like them, nigga. Yeah, I know, right? You know? Could be real. Exactly. It's all good. The real is back. All right. Uh, so it was something. Man, I'm, your phone is busy right now, man. It is very busy. Very counterproductive to uh putting out a good show. Just is saying. it? All right. Well, you got anything else going on? Uh no. No. I feel uh, I feel like we neither neither one of us have done much. No, man, it ain't been much to do, man. You know, Sorry, y'all. We just round here. You know, we had to we had to endure this whole uh, George Floyd thing. That is true. And I've been searching my soul about how to feel about it because I'm split, I'm torn. But uh, if it all leads to you know black folks coming up in this in this whole thing, I'm mm-hmm. with it. Okay. I, I go with that. Are right, you ready to talk some news? Yeah, let's talk a little news. Hey, I'm going to put my phone on vibrate. What you think? Uh, that's probably a good idea. I don't know if that's going to stop you from looking at it. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Uh, Drew Brees, uh, he made a, uh, I guess what would be anti-establishment uh, statement. You know, oh, about how he it felt. It was more pro-establishment. Is what well, was. I would say because the establishment is Black Lives, man. You have to be with it, and if you're not, and so fucking yeah. If you ain't with us, you're against us. You ain't yeah. part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So he made a he he had a statement about um, you know, how he felt if you kneeled it disrespected his his forefathers or his parents or whomever it was in his family. And the question he was asked wasn't even about that. Yeah. And the whole <clears throat> That mean he had that locked and loaded and wanted to say that. Yeah. Well, uh people went crazy. Laura Ingham of Fox News said that uh well uh, she she agreed with him, but they came back at her. It was like, I thought you wanted at least to shut up and dribble. Yep, she said that. Yep, sure did. Told LeBron that. Uh, Trump said he shouldn't have apologized for his statement that he of made. Of course, Trump said that. And Shaq, Trump don't apologize. Shaquille O'Neal was involved with him in a conference call with his teammates to help smooth things out. So was Shannon Sharp. He did. Yeah, Shannon Sharp. Yeah. Uh, skill, skill. I don't- my eyes Yo, are fucked up. You you did that with that incense. Hey y'all, the incense is over here fucking Reese up right now. <laughs> I told him, what the, what, the, what you doing? That's that but do pussy, it, dog. It, it looked like we smoking cigars up in here. Man. It's just smoke all over the place. He, he, he coughed and choked up. Damn. Hey man. Man, cut that shit off, man. I can't. Yes, you can. How? You rub it, you snuff it like a cigarette. Well, I didn't do that right now. Okay. Well, so so, you, so you wanna you wanna suffer. That's the Badoo pussy. Yeah, it ain't fucking with me like that. Maybe I'll take it out on my wife See, later. You know what that mean? What? It mean if you ever got some of that, you would flip the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I would remain same over here. You would be uh wearing loofahs and not loofahs, but dressed like cardigans and shit. Yeah. Uh okay. Back to Drew Brees. Argyle socks and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? I think Drew Brees. I think he's done a lot for the community. Yeah. Outside of these comments. Yeah. And I think he he must have recently had some kind of argument or something. I think he was caught on camera being white. But yeah, yeah, some of that. But and the, but, just not thinking about 
but to see this, this my issue is that the, the question didn't match the answer, or, or the answer didn't match the question. And it, it, he I wasn't asked shit about kneeling and standing for the flag. Yeah, but he went right there. Yeah. So that shit was fresh on his mind. And so you ever seen a politician get asked a question mm-hmm. and they just they talk about something totally different? I've seen it all the time. That's why I don't vote. Yeah. Because they just they just lying to you right out the gate. And he just we did that. Cut that shit off in a minute. Nigga, we gonna what? make it through cut the break. It, cut it off now. I ain't touching this shit. No, you want me to do it? Hold on. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put it in this. Put that bitch in some water, man. Yeah. Put that bitch in there. That's my coffee cup. You drinking anything? I don't want ashes in the motherfucker. You can wash it out. I know, but I ain't doing that tonight. This nigga, man. Cognitive dissonance. That is fine. pussy, dog. So? Hey, man, sometimes pussy can be overwhelming. It can be. And uh, sometimes you need to get that away from you. It's going to ruin your soul. Maybe I can move it's it gonna further back. It's going to snatch your soul. No, you need to cut it out. I know. I'm going to move it back. All right, man. Let me get that a shot. Hey, keep talking. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, Drew Brees got caught in the cross. And he had some shit on his mind that didn't have shit to do with his ass. But uh, all that smoke he got, I think, was a little over the top because that man done a lot for for the lesser the lesser served in in the community, and uh, especially in New Orleans. Any of y'all ever been in New Orleans? Y'all know that's a pole looking ass town. Yeah, it's fun, and if you got money, it's real fun. But uh. You ain't got no money. Uh, that, 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 you, you living just like they are. And I remember when uh Katrina happened, they, they was calling them refugees over here. It was a reason for that because them niggas was looking like some refugees. Just with, just what it was. Hey man, New Orleans, we have fun there, but that place don't look like a destination spot. You never hear nobody say, "I'm moving to New Orleans." Yeah, you always meet somebody from that motherfucker. Though. I know, right? They always move out that bitch. Yeah. Don't nobody move to it. It's a reason for that. Yeah. So Drew Brees is down there trying to help out. Mm-hmm. And he getting all his backlash. So niggas is too sensitive sometimes. They are. Nigga, I, I think, are you satisfied with where you, where you put the Badu pussy? I guess, nigga. Fuck. You're not. Why did you like that? Come on, dog. Why? It's Badu pussy, dog. Come on, man. Y'all, did y'all you want to take some home? Did you, <laughs> hell no. Why? I don't want none of that shit. I bought it for the show. Keep that shit away from me. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Let's put a fan hey, in this bitch. Hey, y'all. Just I'm talking to the audience right now. Did y'all hear his reasoning? He didn't have a good reason. I he did just, it for the show, dog. It's Badu pussy. Yeah, it is. That's Badu. the reason. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know what? It'd be funny if she got a hold of this. <laughs> now which one of y'all said y'all didn't want none of this you yeah i did say that <laughs> screw that all that, right that shit got a hex on it aside from that uh everybody's been protesting everywhere in the world has went all over to the uk uh this is for george floyd uh that boy got two first names <laughs> yeah uh so you know these nationwide anti-racist protests are breaking broken out and uh, now they've calmed. Uh, so this is the calm after the storm. Calm after the storm. Calm. You don't think there's another storm coming? COVID, but not no George. Oh, Trump you think the COVID gonna re happen? It's, it's it's jumping back up. Man, you know what? I told Corey and Sale, I'm a chill. <laughs> oh, he told me that. He texted me, said, "Tell him one of my coworkers got it." Uh huh. One of mine say they got it. Okay. I don't believe him. I think they're just trying to get out of work. <laughs> <laughs> then overtime start having these show the fuck back up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, dog. Sometimes you just sick, dog. It ain't got to be no, no catastrophic shit. Yeah. You know what the problem is? <laughs> what? Niggas, you just said you weren't going to do it. Niggas ain't drinking whiskey. Okay. Nigga, this whiskey keep all kind of shit off of me. Nigga, don't drink Badoo pussy in the enclosed room. I yeah. mean, not drink it, but like. Well, it. you did it, man. I, I I questioned you on it, and and you just was not were not trying to hear the sense I was speaking, and now you over here suffering. Your Thanks. eyes red and water. Mine's starting to water now. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Wow. Okay. So, do you think the protests were beneficial to the well being of black people? I think overall, I think it it, it will end in an uptick. 
Yeah, I it think is. a lot of do. I think it's getting a little over the top, and you know, I th- yeah, it's, de- it's that's always going to NASCAR and everybody doing well, something. They they, they, they been painting statues. They painted that Columbus statue with red hands. He got blood. Yeah, on over his here in Houston, it happened in the Montrose area, yeah. at, which is funny in itself because that's yeah. the gay area. Of town. Yeah. So, hey man, I think people also you well businesses got to They got to read the the. Uh, Everybody now NFL got Juneteenth it's gonna yeah. be nigga day. Twitter, Twitter doing it too. They got they making Juneteenth an official holiday. Hey man, you gotta read the climate. If you are a big time company out here, get paid off the people. They're bringing attention to that. You so be- I, it, it works. You better read. I play a do- I play dominoes on my phone. Yeah. First thing on that bitch, Black Lives Matter. Oh really, nigga? <laughs> nigga on, on Domino app. Yeah. It's okay. So yeah. I think. Nigga, we got to get this motherfucker shit out of here, dog. Man, Hold I on. told you this, man. I'm about to drink this wine straight out the bottle. <sighs> God damn. <laughs> and we back, yo. Why you out of control? <laughs> Why this nigga over here think he lied to the motherfucker? Oh, I don't think I'm lying. Boy, I'm just over here just working with you. All the colorful buttons. I mean, I apologize, man. Uh, yeah, that that was a terrible idea. <laughs> the room is smoked out. My eyes are burning. Yeah, mine started. <laughs> I was like, man, why? Badoo pussy, dog. Okay. And Badoo team. <laughs> yeah. Up in this business. If the joke was on us. No, it was on me. I'll take all that, that heat. It will take the heat. I'll man. take all that. I smoke. wish somebody else was in here to witness it, though. Oh, man. That's if why I, we need cameras in this If Ash was in here, be crying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ski <Skiwi. laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Let's move Stay on. Out of that. Man, let's get the show going. All right, five five nine two five seven four six eight five five nine two five shot. Yeah. Uh AMC, the movie chain. They might not make it, uh, but they plan to reopen in July. Uh, you know, this is the largest movie theater chain. Uh several movies have been delayed. Their release have been delayed because of COVID and all type of other uh, things. They're screwing up because other other companies are going straight to home. Right. So uh, they believe that movie studios start going straight to digital, like Trolls did. That yeah, Trolls did, that. Trolls did a big, big some big numbers on. I that. bought it for my kids. Yeah. Uh, so do you think they can come back? I mean, they can. I mean, they big enough to to regroup and retool and mm-hmm. go straight straight to uh, you know tr- streaming. They so could do that. I, I don't think the move. I don't think. Because there's levels to it, which oh, you no levels. no no. You want the movie theater release. You want those sales. Then you want the digital sales. You don't want to go straight to digital because you might miss out. That's an old model, man. It's a man. It's a, it's a, and it's something still good about sitting in a theater. You can't get yeah that yeah if at you, home. if you were born and from eighty five back your phone maybe children you can't. If me and my wife try and watch a movie while the kids here. It gets fucked up every time. My and my son Nolan, he just would not allow us to do that. Yeah, you got the movie, you got the element of surprise, you got the sound effects, you got the popcorn. I just don't think you're gonna. Be, now you can buy drinks. And say, oh come on, man! You just can't beat the movie theater. I man, the whole reason that the movie theaters went to make making it more comfortable and buying alcohol yeah. and all that yeah. is to combat how good the living rooms have gotten. Mm. They not beating that, man. So They're you, not. Nah, I, I disagree. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm old school enough to where I like going and sitting in the theater and watching a movie. But, dog, if you come straight to the house and my 4K is popping. No, you going to sit your ass in that garage and smoke, nigga. What's the never? It's the same thing. All I'm saying is, it, it, dog, it's getting antiquated leaving the house to go see the movie, man. It's getting there. And, uh, and especially with all this social distancing and shit. Yeah. Hey, it's gonna have to. They gonna have to try some new shit. The popcorn and the, the, Nick, look, the oil on the popcorn ain't gonna get it. Shit, overpriced ass M and M's. They that ain't gonna get it. Yeah, people still do it though. Like going to sporting events, man. People still doing it, dude. You you gotta have movie theaters. Well, man. we'll see because the WWE tried it with no fans, and, and I read somewhere that soccer did it or foot football did it. With digital fans. Or you can get you a cardboard cut out of yourself and put it in your seat. Ain't that a bit? Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't fucking know. Same reason you light up some badu pussy in the clothes room. <laughs> do it for the show. <laughs> oh, that little baby right there. Yeah. He's little wham. baby or dub baby? That's the little baby. Wham, wham, wham. Why he got goats in there? Like he's the goat. Well, he probably is the goat. 
Nah, I doubt it. Yeah. The goat of what? The mumble rap, maybe. Maybe okay. he the new mumble rap. Right. Man, 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 man. I don't know. Whatever that that, that high pitch shit you played a couple <laughs> shows ago. It's I called played, squealing. Squealing. They were that squealing got him beat. Yeah. Somebody was asking me about that. Uh, it was either Alpha, is it Alpha 651? Yeah. Okay. The, and Hoop Official, while I was talking to both Shout of them. Shout out to Hoop Official. We need to get him and E. Blin Act to like, comment on what's going on in Seattle. Oh, yeah. In I the Pacific took North, over fresh. Like a, a whole section of the city. And I heard that it ain't, it's like, but it's not what the news is portraying. Never is. Oh, yeah, news news overdoes shit, and it and it and it rails people up, man. All right, so there's Uncle Ruckus, there's uh-huh. D Reese, and there's Jason Whitlock. You putting yourself amongst them? I don't. Some people do. Wow. My said, man, I don't like black people and shit like that. Well, I mean, sometimes you do come across. I mean, because you kind of you, you got a lot of white in you, so sometimes that comes out. <laughs> Well, one of my brothers at arms has been fired from FS1. Oh, yeah, Jason Whitlock. Yeah, he and him gone. I don't know if he was fired more than they just, they couldn't come to an agreement. Leave it to black Twitter to say he was fired. Of course. Well, they don't like him. Yeah. Because so, sometimes he hit, he he make a, a hurt dog holler. Yeah. And I don't I don't subscribe to his brand of speech. Mm-hmm. I can see where people don't like him. Right. But I've also heard him say some shit like, well, yeah, that's about right, dog. Mm-hmm. And I know ain't nobody going to like that, but he's about right yeah. on that one. All right. Uh, he's gone from FS1. Uh, he'll be replaced with Emmanuel Acho. That was of ESPN. Emmanuel Acho. Emmanuel Acho. Yeah, I think Hispanic? he had a brother named Sam, I believe. You know, he's black. Short stint in the NFL. Very articulate guy. Nigerian guy. Uh, oh, uh, that's right. Okay. And he has a big box flat top, and he dates... Uh, yeah. Yvonne or the Yvonne Orgy mm. Molly. I from, used to play football. Molly from the uh, 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 Insecure. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Acho, how you spell it? A C H O. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so his replacement is Emmanuel Acho. Uh, I personally enjoyed the, the show a lot with Jason Whitlock. I don't believe they'll be able to replace. What he brought to that show He create, he helped create that show Hey man sometimes Even the people you hate You love to hate them Yeah You tune in just to hate Yeah Kind of what they do with you And also Oh yeah Yeah they tune How in How could you hate me man Man cause dog Sometimes you just sound like You don't like I'm feeling a little one, better I'm One of, one of the, the The reviews we got It's like man I hate When I agree with Reese Just say yo bad That was hilarious Hey man And just let me know I'm, I'm, I'm hitting all the buttons Over here that mean you Black Lives Matter? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not that. Okay. Mm-mm. Well, how am I the exact opposite? I wouldn't say you the exact opposite. You just way more flamboyant. Okay. People hear me like, yeah, I, I see what he's doing. Yeah. You be like, man, fuck this nigga. Who this nigga is? Hey. <laughs> Speaking of that, man, did you see the Chappelle thing, or was you gonna bring that up later? I did not have that, but I heard. I just now recently heard about that. I listened to it on the way up here. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I think this was not a comedy show. That's what I heard. So if you're looking for some funny, you might get three chuckles out to 27 minutes. Who just run. preaching? Not preaching or talking about social issues. He was, yeah, he was preaching and talking about social what is issues. The, was the audience supposed to find? Well, did they come there knowing that? Well, I mean, they, he is a comedian. Yeah. And I think if you saw his name across the banner and you sign it up to go and you paying to see his show, you thinking you're gonna get some funny. That's yeah. what I that's what I would imagine. Well, he went out there and uh just laid some facts on the line. Mm-hmm. And uh it was heavy, heavy BLM. I mean, he didn't say that that name so much, but it was heavy, uh, you know, the streets are mad and the streets are talking, the celebrities ain't gotta talk. Yeah. You know, because somebody, uh, Don Lemon, was like, where the celebrities at? How come they're silent? Your silence uh, makes you complicit. Or, you know, if, if, if you're not part of the problem, you you know, that, that shit. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. That's, what that about you shit. don't stand for nothing? You'll file for anything. That, that vein of well, shit. Well, I believe you'll file for anything. You stand for some shit you don't believe in. Hey, say that. I'm just saying. And you take on fake causes that you don't believe in. Yeah. You won't get found out <laughs> yeah. sooner or later. Yeah. Hey, so but Dave went up there, man. He spit the truth. Mm. He, he put it flat on the line. That's all is it entertaining? Say. It's not. 
It's like so me- I, I it, was, it was like medicine. Mm. It's like medicine. You need it. You might not want it. it. Might not taste good, but it was necessary. All right, shoot from here one at gmail dot com is the email address. Use that sometimes. You don't want to call. Uh, we halfway through this abomination with the fucking Badoo pussy. It's fucking us up. <laughs> abomination. Yeah. Okay. Damn, we 38 minutes in? Look at it, you see it. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you used to ask me, man, how far? I'm glad you can see it now, man. I can see it. Good. I can't believe you went this this long. I can. Really? We do this all the time. What are you trying to say? I'm saying we do this all the time is what I'm trying to say. Man, you tripping. Nigga, I'm not. I'm telling you. You want to go to a break or you want to? Let's break. Go break. All right, my bad. Oh, what you got? You got something? Yeah, but you might not like it, so I'm going to go to a break. <laughs> no, no, what you got, man? This is this the shoot from his show. We'll be back after this break. <laughs> so you're doing it again. Glad you're doing, I'm doing it, it again. I'm doing it again, right? Yeah, just look, look at whatever you're looking at, Glad. I don't know, Glad. There's a lot of wild things. I know we burnt up somebody's car. It's an inside story with all this shit. I can't talk about that, Glad, because I really get in trouble. See, motherfucker can't just be selfish, Glad, because, you know, I was robbing and stealing out there, Glad. I was, you know, taking them down through there. You know what I'm talking about? I'm out on the street on my own. What can I do, Glad? You know, I don't even write my raps, uh, Glad. I just <laughs> go in there and tell the truth. Well, it wasn't about the money with me. Like, like, Glad, look at me. I don't uh, cut corners, Glad. If I beat a nigga up for you, Glad, come on, man, you can't, you can't look out for me. Yeah, I got shot, but I got shot, Glad. She had me in the prison, Glad. I just wasn't going, Glad. No mom, no dad. There was a lot of foul shit going on, Glad. You know what I'm saying? It could have just been me, Glad. Niggas wasn't right, but uh, I wasn't going, Glad. No, I, I was a little slicker than that, Glad. I was a little slicker than that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's me, Glad. I wasn't going, Glad. And while I was running off, uh, he ran behind me and shot me in the leg. But notice this, uh, uh, Glad. I was robbing him from the day I met him to the day I got shot, Glad. Uh, Glad. I'm only saying this to you, Glad, because you're Glad. You know, I'm a good guy all the way around. I just do bad shit, Glad. I just do bad shit. I need to shake this shit off. Yeah, like I said, Glad, I like them niggas. You know what I'm saying? There's <laughs> okay, niggas. Mafia, and they still got ill feelings and not showing it. Glad. Come on, Glad. Because, you know, sometimes, Glad, I just feel like I, it's a lot of shit that I can say, but I just don't say it. The streets is the street, Glad. Look at Boosie. <laughs> Hold on, Glad. <laughs> <laughs> you about old crunchy black, crunchy black man. Uh, uh, I think he he was trying to be personable, you know. Actually, you know, in saying the man's name, right? He just couldn't get it right. The V and the G just wasn't gonna. Uh, they weren't gonna be congruent in this conversation. What's worse, V lad or Glad? Glad is way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Glad Come on dog He had to see the damn letters like He had man. to Maybe he can't read Crunchy Black Maybe on third grade read level like me Well I mean Crunchy Black don't seem like the uh, The the sharpest knife in the drawer He Yeah You understand Not the brightest light In the chandelier Oh you should have got that in the mic No <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I mean Glad Yeah Hey, but he kept doing it though, man. And and Vlad never uh V Lad never corrected him or nothing. They FaceTimed and talked about it. Oh, they did? Yeah. Well, how you know that? You got audio of that? <laughs> hey man, y'all Reese over here stuffing his face with gumbo right now. So uh if if his response is delayed, that's what's going on. Well. I tell you what though, man, I don't correct people when they say my name wrong a lot too. Oh really? I understand how that t- how that can be a laborious thing. <sighs> Nigga, what the fuck that mean? Like labor, like like you, it's work. Ask Google. It's work. Okay. It's like well, it's, ain't no sense in me doing this because I'm gonna have to do this all day. But I wait till we get somewhere and we can sit down. And say, hey man, this my name. Yeah. Say say it right. 
Mm. But like doing it right there in front of people, that's embarrassing to them. Mm-hmm. And you look kind of like an asshole saying that you you telling somebody that you're saying it wrong. Mm. So you don't want to do that. All right. But I know that life. I'm shooting from hip show. Nigga. <laughs> when try to do pussy, that ain't work. This gumbo working, nigga. Hey. <clears throat> what that gumbo taste taste what the gumbo taste like? <laughs> it do <don't> pussy. <laughs> I'm trying to formulate a better question than that, but oh shit, I'm full of You look man. like you eat some but b- new pussy. I'm full now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got so, it. You I, got you got hair in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we oh, back. Shoot man. from the hip one at gmail dot com five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. And shoot from the hip die XYZ is the website. You can go check all of our content out and you can give us a small donation. Deep into your pocket. Just a little fee for getting all this game from some play ass niggas around this motherfucker. Hey, there you go. See, I don't like to claim that, but if I'm being real about it, I got more game than I give off. There you go. You understand? But where does breath coming from? Okay, man. It's breath. We got we got two uh two different contributors to the breath. Shout out to them. We got three of them because one of them had had to do it not once, but twice tainted. I hope it's not towards me. Well, we about to find out because uh, <laughs> this oh, this first one coming from the eight one seven, and we know who that is. I don't remember. All right, we about to find out. Here it go. Hey, gentlemen, it's um, yep, I just heard the ending of the what did Biden say show. I guess I must have missed the ending. Well, the thing would pop back up because I listened to it. And I heard you say a comment about how the guys nowadays don't want to date black women. They only want to date outside their race, you know, like Hispanics, whatever the case may be. I'm not against them having a preference on who or what they like to date. I hate when you say you're only going to date this way and not black women. Um, There's tons of beautiful black women out there. I mean tons of beautiful black women. And they will have your back. So I hate when they say that and then they go with a basic ass, oh, they got an attitude. No, they don't. They They have an opinion about shit. They have a voice. And if you say that, you don't like that because... You want someone to, who wants to be in a relationship want, with someone that just constantly agrees with everything you say, even though they know it's not right, mm. or doesn't voice their opinion. It's not like they're not argumentative. So I would say stop with all that bullshit. That should get on my nerves because white girls, Smiths, Asians, they could be 10 times worse. So miss me with that bullshit. And then you see them on social media, and I hate these type of niggas. Cause they'll go on there and they'll post a whole screenshot of what the girls did to them, damaged the car, whatever. This bitch crazy, she did X, Y, and Z. I ain't, I ain't, and you, the next thing you wanna do is for a black woman to come say, you, oh, it's okay, you know, fuck that. That's what you get. That's what you wanted, that's what you get. Because you thought we was gonna do that shit to you. But you ran over here to Becky and Karen and them. They <laughs> so I don't care, I just scroll right past. Y'all know I'm from Odessa, so it was a young boy who was literally two, I want to say two years ago, literally fighting for his life because a little Spanish girl did that same shit to him. She, they were smoking weed, her brother caught them because it was in the middle of the night, and then he called the cops on them, so the cops come over and arrest them. Well, instead of her just being honest, saying that she invited him over and all this kind of stuff, she said that the boy took advantage of her because she was hot. This little boy almost lost his scholarship. He couldn't go to, almost couldn't graduate. You know, it was just such a big mess. The only thing that saved him was the literal ass bitch that he did this to. Because her dumb ass, I mean, he got the dumbest motherfucking mission in the world. This bitch came to form a sentence without him said, bitch who? Him who? Like, she, her and her brother kept making all these videos. So basically, she she made it work for herself, and they. Mmm. It sounded like it was going somewhere. Sound like she called back. Yeah, she definitely did. She okay, did call let's back. go. All right, let's see. What she, let's let's see if she's gonna finish this up, man. Let's see. Here you go. Hey, 
Yeah, I was trying to get all that out. I'm not kidding. But anyway, he winds up getting off because of her. She actually helped his case, which he kept saying that all along. But they weren't trying to hear that shit because all they wanted to hear in the first place was that they went by what she said. And the whole time, what's in the press? Like, where is her parents at? Not one time have I ever seen or heard from the parents on the news. It's just her and her slow ass brother. Like, who the hell? What? Who raised y'all? So this goes Amazing. back to watch who you decide to be in a relationship with. Who's going to really have your back in the end? Because you run into them white girls and stuff. Trust me, they're going to choose their family over you at the end of the day. And if push comes to shove, they don't like what you're giving to them. You cheat on them or whatever the case may be. Trust me, all they have to do is say, he did he did this to me and you gone there you are fighting for your life for some bullshit so yes my brothers especially them the young ones i tell my girls and my son i don't care who you date but i would prefer for you to pick you know a brother or sister because and i've talked to them several times thank goodness my son loves black women thank goodness and my girls do love black guys so i don't have to worry about that but I'm just saying, please, y'all, because at the end of the day, the black woman will really be by your side and support you guys. We really will. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Oh, man. Shout out to Keisha, man. Go ahead. Get it off your chest. What a lot to say. She did. About a lot. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure how what we said on that show. I can't even remember. I have to go back and listen. That. I mean, whatever it was, you did it. No, the fuck I did. No. Yeah, you do that. Nah, That's not, your thing. You ain't for the put you that know, on you me, know, they, You know, they don't fuck with black chicks. That's your thing. Uh, I don't even talk like Yeah, that's probably what that was. They don't. Well, okay, well, that's probably why the conversation NFL, came NFL up. NFL players. Well, uh, they, they are, sent they, out they a, are, a, a serious they are, plea. They are ashamed of themselves. They don't. They hate how they look in the mirror. So they go get something to look that's, that's what the NFL them. players do? Yeah. I don't think that's it. I think they're in a new world with new opportunities. And they've always been able to get a black chick when they come from the hood or whatever. Yeah, I'm going to give me a sister. So are you but saying they upgrade? I'm, no, I'm saying okay. they're, they're dipping their, their toes in new waters. It's not necessarily an upgrade. It's probably a parallel shift. It's just now, black.com is definitely a movement. I'm just saying. Why you got the Dev Chaching? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm finna hit that ka-ching on your ass, boy. It's a boy. movement. Uh, uh, yeah, see, the thing is, dog, once you use to a certain thing and you just get an opportunity to try something else, Yeah, you try something else. That's yeah. it. That's all I think the, the NFL players are doing. No. They be married and watching. I mean, that's, that's fine. I don't know. It's I, not I, fine. I don't. I, I, it's been so long since we recorded. I would have to go back and see. She said it was at the end, I, I know, though. Yeah, you, you you said some shit. Uh, yeah, I I, I can't even but remember. But I, I I firmly I believe felt that. what you said. Uh, yeah, I yeah, she was. I mean, she was definitely on the, on, the, and on the nail. With nothing some wrong shit. with it. But I do know that black dot com is a movement. Chichain. Say it with me again. Black dot com. Black dot com. Yeah, it's a movement. All right, now Keisha, I don't tell you why we talking this black dot com now. It's a movement. I hey. <laughs> but she was very heartfelt with that. You that have, you remember the Atari? Which one? Twenty six hundred. Yeah, I remember twenty six hundred. I'm just saying, just imagine like shooting RPGs all over, and then the white girl trying to catch them. Yeah, that's how that. That's how they go. Because <laughs> well, they willing to do that. Well, I can honestly say, <laughs> <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> The first time I had somebody catch an RPG for me <laughs> wasn't a white girl. No. It was a sister. Okay. And that's all. And not just one. But many times. <laughs> so you had semi automatic? Uh no, no, no. It was like a revolver. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, just saying. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying the myth. The myth was out there, and I I experienced a different thing other than the myth. Carlton's log. I try to remember to go back to the next shoot from the hip episode to find out <laughs> what Keisha's is talking about. <laughs> Carlton's log, nigga. You never seen that on Fresh Prince of Bel Air? I did see some of that. Yeah. Carlton's log. I've seen it on space on space movies. Yeah. Anyway, man, we got a nothing. 
Damn, Keisha. Nah, I'm playing. That's not for <laughs> Keisha. Know. It's not for Keisha. But I think this is one from our man we need to be checking. I, you know, we need to hear from. And let's see what he got to say, man. Hold on. Here you go. What's good, y'all? Official checking in with mm. West Coast and as usual. Man, I just want to call and say I appreciate listening to you brothers and, and, and always keeping us on our P's and Q's. And I'm really looking forward to that. The next episode with everything going on out here in these streets and, you know, the, uh, the uh, clan trying to take us out and kill us. And then, and then with all the other cats out here looting which I don't agree with but I understand taking out businesses and whatnot. I just can't wait to hear your opinion and I know some of these cats are having to go to Shutter Island I already know <laughs> can't wait to see it all you guys bring that real that fuckery can't wait to hear it man I need some good that good therapy with me you brother stay up man stay strong take care of yourself no Rona gone no Rona and gone there you go. Shout out to Hoop Official, man. That's my guy. That man there from from the, the, the Pacific North Fresh. Yeah. Seattle. Mm-hmm. Shout out to our other brother in Seattle, E. Blinak. Yeah. And we got another one. Slack family. Shout out to the Rare Sonics Network. Oh, yeah. And the uh, No Nonsense Show. Uh, Nathan Nice. He out there, too, being active. Hey, man. Seattle got some shit going on right now. Yeah, they took over the... The downtown, I guess, whatever. Well, some pirates or whatever. What I'll do they you, call themselves? I, 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 they, I, don't, I don't know if they have a name. I call them anarchists. Or well, they got the Antifa. Okay, is that Antifa? Is what you talking about? Like some fucking crazy motherfuckers that's like fighting for justice, but really not Antifa. I think. They just want to be I, vigilantes. Or something. The same ones that was at every protest, just they, fucking shit up and yeah. then getting out the way. Yeah, yeah, that that's them. Yeah, man. Um. Shout out to Hoop Official, man. Hey, man, I hope, I hope, we hope you straight out there, man. Because I know the news likes to overblow shit. And I've heard conflicting stories about what's going on in Seattle. They, Me too. The, 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 I the, heard they gave the government like a laundry list of things. I think I heard the chief left and was like, all right, y'all can have it. Yeah. That's what I heard. I, 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 you I, see I what I'm saying? Wrong. I don't know. I've heard, I've heard that and otherwise. I've heard that. On on the one hand, I heard that oh they occupying six blocks and they got AK forty sevens. You can't come in or can't come out unless you got proper ID. And it's just you know the the uh, the inmates are running the asylum. And, and then I've heard, man, it's like ten people out there talk some trash. Ain't got shit. Yeah, you know, camping out in front of the police station. Oh, for real? Yeah, I've I've heard both of those. So I don't know which one is real. I just know that Seattle got a kind of got a, a history and aura with you know social unrest being a little different than the other places. Oh, okay. So uh, shout out to Hooper Fisher, man. Shout out to E. Bleenack. He been uh, he shoots us out on the Instagram all the time. Pretty dope on social media. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, so that's gonna do it for all our voicemails for this uh, episode of Shoot from the Hip Show. But we gotta answer that man's question now. You know, what? we don't want to blow past. Oh my him. bad. Go ahead. I mean, he was like, you know, he came with to see what we think about all the fuckery going on. You right. And all of that. Uh, for me, I typically don't care. I try to keep my black ass out of all of that shit. Uh, I talk about that kind of shit with my uh, wife. Uh, I talk about it amongst my close friends, but I don't. You know, kind of talk about that kind of stuff at work. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know, I, 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 I like the things that are being brought, but now it's kind of getting to the. I, I, but I guess you know, I mean, I guess it has to get there. But you know how I know how I think it's like. Uh, some people be pandering far as, well, we're gonna do something too, and we're gonna do something too, and then we're gonna do something, and now we're changing our logo, and now such and such, and. And then about a year later, yeah, butt kiss, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, man. I, I, cause I've been flip flopping on my on my feelings about this whole thing, and um, you know, my initial gut reaction is, man, fuck that. They killed that man, strang them some bitches up, get their ass out of here. Don't get them gone. Don't get them gone. Shut the island. You know, whatever, whatever backlash come from that, it, it they deserve it. The other hand is like, 
Well, nigga, well, how did we get there? Yeah. You know, well, so that don't matter. It, it's, it's, you know, and it usually don't for the people that are mad. Mm-hmm. But for me, that's kind of indifferent as I am. I'm like, well, shit, how, how did it get there? How how did it go from uh, Floyd was chilling somewhere to now he's arrested with people sitting on his back? Yeah. What happened up in there to get to that point? And usually that's my default, except that, nigga, I know black folks been treated funny in this country. Mm-hmm. And part of me is like, I don't give a fuck how we got there. Let's fix it. Yeah. And so that's kind of where I'm at now. You want to fix it? Well, I don't believe it'll be fixed. No, nah, me neither. But I believe that there's there's might some, change a few. There's minds. some augmentation that needs to happen. Well, they're running with the narrative that things are going to change. So yeah. we'll see. So that's sound that, like some fluff now, but we'll see next year. A lot of it sounds like fluff. You know, twenty twenty. All, all these all different. these big time companies. Oh, we you can wear your t shirts. Starbucks almost went through some shit. Cause they was not gonna let their people wear black lives matter. What's that They was saying you could fucking even have sag your pants. What? I'm playing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new I was gonna say, <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, Boy, you no, saw no, your no. face. You like what? Yeah, you can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but yeah, so they making Juneteenth a holiday now. Nah, yeah, and all I see that. that. It's like so. On the one hand, man, black people get more vacation if, days. If you break this company egg, company cars with hey, swingers. If you break this egg to make an omelet, I'm good. Yeah, but the part of me is like, how the egg get broken in the first place? Did it come from a genuine spot, mm. or was it some fuckery that we're not willing to look at? Come on now, so wait, man. It, th- th- those are two sides of the same coin, man. Mm. That's what. That's where I'm at. But if, if we come out of this thing better than we were. I'm good with that. All right. And that's why I leave that. All right. Shout out to Hooper Fisherman. I hope you addressed uh, your question properly. All right. So let's go and get to this fuckery. It's a long ass show. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> I mean, we ain't done the fuckery yet. We had an hour 30 already. Nigga, I, I see you looking at the time. I'm glad you can see it. Yeah. Because it'd just be me over here like, and you'd be like, fuck that. You don't have no idea what the time frame is, but now you do. I'm glad you can see it. You need to put it up on the wall. True that. Put one right here and just push it. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right, so Killer Mike, he took over Selena Gomez's IG account. Uh, this was a move to inform her 179 million followers about black issues. Selena uh, Gomez, who? One of those girls that are like Disney stars or just young looking Latina girls. Okay. You know, she, uh, I think she was on Disney or something like that. Maybe one of them dated just a bit. Oh, I get her and Vanessa Hudgens mixed up. I think she dated Bieber. Okay. She was on Disney show. She suffered and had a little depression issues. I I, I might be wrong. Anyway, uh, she let Killer Mike, she introduced him formally and said his real name and gave his. his, Michael Rayner. Yeah. Yeah. Gave all his, his stats and like, hey, he finna. You know, take it, you know, y'all check him out and listen. And I thought it was pretty cool. You know, I don't know. Again, you can call it pander, but it might have affected someone. And she did not have to do it. So I thought it was cool. Uh, I didn't read it. You know, long post, you know, I kind of. <laughs> Too long, didn't read. Yeah. TLDR. Hey, listen, dog. I'm on third grade ring level. I mean, no, I'm not. Man, I'm not letting you slide with that no sometime more. Sometimes I just need a YouTube video. I've listened to you read. You're at least seventh grade. Okay. At least. Okay, let's just say I'll, I I think I graduated to fourth. At least seventh grade. I'm not letting you flub that. Okay. Because see what you're doing is trying to err on the side of caution. Oh, yeah? That's what you're doing. All right. Like, Don't be so mad at me. I'm only third grade. Yeah. No, nah, nigga. You're at least middle school. All right. <laughs> so this is to teach uh, people uh, about, uh, also about the work of black activists such as himself. Okay. Uh, you know, with the George Floyd thing, she said she wanted to do something, and she invited others to take over her Instagram as well. Okay, that's dope. Oh yeah, sound like it. I mean, did some positivity come out of it? I think so. All right, yeah. And it's up to them, those people who that follow her, to receive that. Yeah. Uh, Cardi B. Uh, wow. You know, she has an impressive fleet of luxury cars. 
I did not know that. Oh, I've seen them all in front of her. Knew how she bought. Uh, you know she can't drive. I can believe that. And you know her excuse was for buying those cars. Oh, cr- you know her excuse for buying those cars. Why? Uh, to take pictures. I believe that too. Come on, man. Sometimes I mean she don't seem like the. She secured the bag. Exactly. You know, so if she can What's buy her it, real name? Bal Caris. Yeah, some dumb shit like some that. some shit that make the dra- dragons <laughs> the dragons blow flames. Yeah. on the Game of Thrones. Yeah, pretty much. Jacaris. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, nothing on that. I just thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, Carl Crawford. Now we talked about him a while back. He had well, we talked about him because of his his issues with Meg the Stallion. Yeah. Uh, recently, two people drowned at his house. Now he is being accused of domestic violence. He was arrested uh, for trying Spiraling. to spiraling. Yeah, impede uh, the breath the breath of a young lady. Uh, he also had a gun. And um, after this, his ex Evelyn Lozada denies that he she. Ever oh, you fucking with Evelyn too? He got baby with her. Wow, you didn't know that? No, I, didn't I know told that. you he was a thought nigga, dog. You, I remember, I remember you saying that, but that I remember not. Thought nigga, dog. I remember not knowing the name. Made a ton of money, oh. and he just got to be in the entertainment industry. He got to be a rapper, one of them, in a label, and all of that shit. And got not, date not a good look for the city, wild. dog. You did Man. not hold H Town down. He, I, I think he's a clown, he's uh, a trip, dog. Some people might believe otherwise, but he right out of Fifth Ward over here. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. Anyway, he he repeated to her, how long you been, I, I want to see, he probably said, how long you been fucking this nigga? But what I read was he wanted to know how long she had been having sex with the other man. His attorney, uh, of course, denies all of these accusations. Well, I mean, what he supposed to do? Deny all of these accusations. Deny, deny, <laughs> deny, till you die. Yeah. Oh, come on, Carl. He'll pay off. Yeah, I mean, she he, won't go to court. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Hey, that nigga, dog. Hey man, hell has no wrath. Like the scorn of a woman. Or hey. woman scorn. He sound like the scorn one. He went over there trying to beat her ass. Yeah, well, nigga, she got a chance to get <clears throat> some get back. Oh, she finna get some get back. Hey, well, nigga, guess what? By a few million. Well, he he gonna be paying that check. Yeah. Being a dumb nigga. She when well, she fucked up, she didn't get pregnant first. Well, I mean, do you wanna be saddled with that nigga <laughs> that long? <laughs> <laughs> You get a quick. It. You, you get a work. You can get a quick paycheck and not have to deal with his ass. Yeah. Hey, that's what you want. But you, come on, man. You get pregnant. You get like twenty thousand a month, fifteen thousand a month. It's a lot of drama come with that, man. Don't have to work. You just no, and then maybe it's too much drama, man. That's what they want. Screw that. Some of them want that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, oh, I, now you fu- now if I would have did that. You did what? Messing with the mic. Nigga, I'm far from what you do with the mic. Hey, Stop man. that. Don't, right. don't front. All right. I just readjusted it a little bit. You hang on it like a monkey bar. All right. <laughs> Welcome to my world, dog. You got some good equipment now over there. Hey, man, it's pretty dope. <clears throat> Shout out to LaShira. All right, Amanda Seals, she's no longer part of the real. Yeah. Uh, she said that... Um, she didn't feel right in her soul and she oh, couldn't speak. Oh, yes. I watched that. About her people, the way they need to be spoken to. Uh, she said there's a lack of black voices at the top. Uh, and this is supposed to be a diverse women of color show. Apparently, her and Lonnie Love either never followed each other or don't follow each other. Uh, Amanda Seals rebuked that. She had an she issue with any of really her. really no beef. Yeah, yeah, but I don't believe that. You uh, think there's some, some shit there? Well, I just think she's not a fit with anybody unless she's doing it her way or that's it. Uh, she has an alpha female kind of thing going on. I mean, she is just a mean person. She's rude. Uh, she Mean? She, I don't know mean. Her facial word. expressions about her co-host statements and and she's just an asshole. Remember Volatile, she, yeah. Very. Volatile. And she's just not that. a good person to have around. Her insecure uh, uh, co-worker. Uh, you know, uh, castmates didn't want to fuck with her. Nobody likes her but Charlemagne. He the only motherfucker who liked his heifer. Yeah, yeah. She, he the only one. He the only one. Well, I mean, you know, he's he's kind of an agitator himself. They the same. He just a male version of her. Well, that's why they get along. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. 
I tell you what, people like her, I I would fuck with. You would? I would not. I would not want her anywhere around me. Uh uh-uh. uh. I see that kind of I see that kind of personality in my in my parameter. I find a new spot to go to. I'm like, yeah, that's that's gonna be trouble somewhere. Mm-hmm. I ain't fucking with that. Dude. Yeah. Fuck this is exactly you. the type of person I don't want to be around. I don't know where she'll go now. I know she hosts some show on NBC or did. Uh, but uh, the fact that anybody would consider fucking with her in the first fucking place, uh, why was she part of uh the the flow tree? Like why? Like why is she always popping up somewhere and on some shit? And then she made the statement, "I didn't get fired. I I leave." Or hold whatever. on, hold on. Get, let's get back to this floor with you. Chan. She used to be part of floor with you. I guess the remember there's the rap there was and two, the songstress. Okay, or whatever. And she was one of them. Just one of them left, and then she took the spot. That didn't work out. Oh, I, mean, I did see that. It okay, never works out. I remember I used to clown floor with you. I was in the navy when the floor with you was hot, and I was like, one of them got talent, and the other one just be talking. Yeah. The singer had had talent very much so, and that that rapper uh, slam poetry artist get that shit out of here. Yeah. So which one did Amanda Seals take over? The rapstress. Ah, boo, boo, get her ass out of here. Then I'm out. And uh, why they picked her? Floyd, you know I saw a documentary about that. Now that I think about oh, it, oh really? About Amanda Seals, it's coming back to me now. Okay. Where she was a part of that. And it was a short lived thing, and then she got to getting into comedy. Mm. She did a step like, what she said? What is she saying? That's funny. I didn't she had like her own special. Did you watch I, it? I watched it, and you know what? Let me be honest. She did say on that special. I saw some shit that I was like, I could, I could go with. I know, I know. You just, you know, you throw it the block. I saw some shit that I was like, okay. That was good material right there. I can see that. She accused that NFL player of rape. She never even met the guy. Now, see, I didn't know nothing about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. She just flagrant and foul mouth. Yeah, see, the thing is, you got to you got to have some a, a cachet before you get to talk too crazy. <clears throat> she thinks she can say what she want to say, offend who she wants That's to offend. That's that cute girl pro- complex. She is. Can't, she She. Her personality that, makes her look ugly. I'm, I'm saying, yeah. because when you're cute and people give you a pass because you're easy to look at, you start talking off the wall, and uh, sooner or later, people ain't going to give a damn about how you look. They just going to hear that shit coming out your mouth. Mm-hmm. And that's what she's dealing with now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Takashi 69 Speaking of a cute chick. Yeah. Takashi 69 <laughs> Uh, what is cute ass doing? That bitch ass motherfucker. So the other day he released a video. He's using his girlfriend as a punching bag. You see that? He's punching her. She I, had wrapped pillows and taped them all around her body. And he was punching her. I saw him doing some boxing, but I don't think it was a girl in there. Yeah, he, what he's I punching saw. on the females. What he's doing is bitch ass. Uh, man, hating on that man is not working. It ain't. But uh, <laughs> He's still out here flourishing. I saw some shit on Instagram where... He, I'm like, there's millions of people like steady fucking with him. I mean, this is a clown show. So anyway, he see he and this to be is the voting on, population, y'all. He's supposed to be working on Akon. Uh, Locked up. Yeah, that's coming. And he also dropped a video with Nicki Minaj today. I saw a picture of them looking at each other. Nicki Minaj, you see how big her titties are? She got she get she added some fat to it. She must have them bitches are huge. Jesus Christ! But she need to add some some uh fat to the backside. No, she don't. She got hips. Ain't no ass on it though. Yeah, it's a big old fake waist. I saw a picture dog where it looked flat like a damn tire. Really? Yeah, it was, it was. It looked like it was supposed to be fat, but the shit fell out. She's a very pretty woman. Her titties are. Hip. I'm talking about. She should have just, just stayed throwing natural. them big jokers around. I'm like. Damn, it should have stayed natural. I want to give him the field test. You know, put the fake see if that. Yeah, what, what she working with is. You, you ever felt some fake titties? Yeah, yeah. It's, it jumps out at you. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Then we talking about target practice. We talking about something else now. I'm just talking about hand, just okay. the, the hand touch. Yeah, talk target. <laughs> Oh, you got that nigga, one? Nigga, like the, like, <laughs> like the bad who is this? <laughs> so, uh, he released that video of Nicki Minaj, and uh, it's, I like her part of it. It was good, but... I didn't see it, so... 
He whacked. I'm that not giving him. I'm not, he's he's not getting no spins from me, though. I just listened. I'm not going to be a part of this. I had to listen for this. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, Ollie, he can't be with anybody. He can't be out. All his videos are colorful, and he, you know. It's I, just a bunch of people why looking for the dumb. I, I, I know that they were on Instagram talking about it, and I'm trying to figure out why she even felt that that would work. Why she? Why she? Why is Akon fucking with this dude? Akon looking for the bag. Akon, he got a he's city. He's supposed to have the bag. He got a city in Africa. He's trying to create power Man. to. He did one song. Has he ever been locked up anyway? Anybody? They, ever? they let him out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in close up, uh, in closing. Uh, hey, if you, what are we you closing? Th- no shit. We getting ready to. Wow. I got golf in the morning. I like this. You heard me? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, nigga, I got brisket in the morning and some ribs and some ribs, apparently and some ribs. So, uh, uh, Jay Young called in talking about battles. People kind of catch me off guard because there's an array of artists that you kind of listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, so. If this COVID thing jumps back up, which it possibly will, I don't believe it. Okay, I'm gonna sh- I'm I'm tripping y'all. My bad, my bad. It might pop up to some people who haven't gotten it yet. All right, so check these battles out. All right, Zero versus Drake. Sing rapping only, dog. Only singing. Bang. What you think? This Ro got him. Drake singing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, ain't. no, not even close. That that's not even close. I only sing rapping. Whatever. Zero got his ass. Okay. It's, it's funny you brought that up because I was gonna mention that V Lad then in, interviewed the Zero. I've seen it. Yeah, you don't want to put me on it. Yeah. Hey man, that's that's a dope ass little section of interviews to look, to look at. It is. I it, found one. He got shot twice. Because what what happened? What what? People outside of Houston and, and outside of Texas don't know. I, I think maybe I, I might be overstating that a little bit, but zero been a factor in the H since like the end of the nineties, since the, since the late nineties. And people outside of the state be like, "Man, who's this zero they be talking about?" Until you hear it, really, and yeah, they do that, and they be like, "Well, goddamn!" And see, Reese think I'm a rowhead. You're the, a rowhead. The dog. fact the fact that this man got a faction of fans that they call rowheads lets you know what kind of impact he got. Now I am not a rowhead because all his shit I don't like. But every now and again, there's one that's like, okay, that is that's one. No, I acknowledge he has a, a some stands, uh, rowheads, and you know. But so finally, Vlad was like, I got to see about this nigga Zero. Now Zero been in the game for thirty years, dog. And he just getting his due because mm. he laid off that being an asshole shit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because if he was if he played the game right in his early years, he'd have been bigger than he is now. Yeah. So if you talking about sing rapping, he was keeping it thorough. I don't know if he was doing that. He was being an asshole. Okay. And I had a personal run in with that shit. You know. Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about it, but all I know is if you talking about singing and rapping. Drake ain't holding no candle, no zero. Come on, man. All right, who y'all think is the better singer rapper, Drake or Zero? Stop it, man. That's not even close. All right, give us a call on the next shoot from hip episode five five nine. Five five nine eight two five self to say that's five five nine eight two five shot. Uh you want to get into this battle thing here. Uh this has not been brought up, but Kendrick and J. Cole. Ooh. That would be dope. See, the thing is. Thing is, Kendrick hit the ground harder than but J. J. Cole. Cole did. Consistent. But J. Cole's more consistent. But but the splash, the initial splash, yeah. Kendrick had the bigger splash. Mm-hmm. And then when he hit the spl- when, when the splash happened, he had content to back it up. Yeah. Where Kendrick was like, ah, he kind of dope. You know, there was no big splash. It is not, and it's it's ne- it never is. It never it never did happen. But I do listen to it, and I'm like, hey, that yeah, when dude, I do that him, dude, he is that dope. nigga spitting, yeah. And so I, I feel like I'm more aligned with uh, J Cole. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. T 
T.I. versus Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Even though I, I've been accused of sounding like T.I. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I don't talk like that, nigga. I just, maybe I I might use a word. Oh, yeah. Oh, we shit. know you can do that shit. I might do that, but you know, that motherfuckers tell me I sound like T.I. I'm like, man, first of all, I'm older than that nigga. <laughs> if anything, he sound like me. That is. Stop that. All right. Uh, Death Row versus Bad Boy. Death Row. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. You just don't like happy shit. That's all. Really? No. Ready to die is happy shit? No, but it has You're some nobody. pop songs. It has some radio friend. They, they, somebody kills you. I'm not you. Taking, a, taking one. I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm just saying. It would be cool to have a DJ spinning some of the hottest songs on each label. Yeah. Because I could. Because we can all see past. There's no beef involved now. I could do without Def, mm. I could do without Tupac on Death Row because I didn't like that era. Man, come I on, didn't man. like it. That come with it. I didn't like none of it. That come with it. Mm mm. And shit felt it felt fake to me. Mm-mm. Tupac turned it. He turned the page and, and got the acting extra. And I yeah. was like, yeah, this this the same hey, rapper, man. What you do? Well, no, he's an actor. And that's what they do. Okay. No. All right. Rick Ross versus Jeezy. Rick Ross. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I gotta go Rick Ross on that. Because right. Jeezy ain't the only one spitting fake dope prices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll close out with this 17 one. 5, nigga. <laughs> you know what it is. <laughs> the snowman. Yeah, I don't sell no dope, but I'm, uh, I'm rapping about it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eminem versus Mac. Eminem, 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 oh, Eminem. Eminem versus Mac Lamore, MGK, Post Malone, and Lil Dicky. Eminem. Versus all the white rappers? Yeah. So you taking. Him over all of the white rappers put together. Yeah, all that. I want you to listen to me. Eminem right. versus. I don't know why you keep asking the Mac same Lamar, question again. MGK, Post Malone. Post Malone got some hit. Lil Dicky. Post Malone. The only one that has any credibility that stands up to Eminem, in my opinion, is Lil Dicky. As funny as that sounds. As funny as that is, he's the only one that'd be like, okay, I like how I like what he's doing. Them, them other three clowns in the middle of that white sandwich? Yeah. Man, get them out of here. I remember we talked about Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. Doing that pop song. Have you have you heard that yet? Nah, uh-uh. Nigga. No, no, we gonna play it. We'll play it later. No, fuck that. You got to hear this. Because you are tripping. <sighs> All right. Go ahead and play it. Machine Gun. And he did this song. Who did he do this song with? Said pink or something like that or something. No, girl. I said he did the same thing as pink. He did the same thing as pink, where he he got on us, got got what, all what's that girl that dates G Easy. See <laughs> another one. Oh, I forgot to throw him in there too. Ah, right, you hear him? She ain't gonna care. Let's see what this. Let's see what this sounds like. Writing's not that easy, but oh, that's right. You don't have premium like me. This sentence so is we got to say commercial. That's it? That's Machine Gun Kelly. Gotta hurry up because we're gonna get flagged. What the fuck? I don't even play no more. That's what the fuck he's doing now. They all do that. That that shit ain't hip hop. It's that's not. Ca- in my neither is Macklemore. In my opinion, that's called Neither pink. is Eminem. That's called pick no. Eminem don't do that shit. Post Malone, damn sure ain't. Post Malone just got face tattoos. Yeah. Somebody was wrote a big hit he had. Yeah. I can't remember who that well, was. Well, all that shit, Eminem is the GOAT as far as rap white white rappers go. Easy. That's that white hop, dog. White hop. <laughs> <laughs> you you coined that. that I that did. Phrase. I damn sure did. And I like to see that shit. Uh, what LeBron try to do? Talk about the copyright or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Anyway, don't y'all do before I do any. We gonna get ready to close this thing out. This is Shoot from the Hip Show. The Mud Toys, D Reese. Search Shoot from the Hip Show wherever you listen to your podcast. We might pop up. That's Search right. the Shoot from the Hip Show on social media. Give us a like, share, and uh, let's get them iTunes reviews up. If you oh man, please us. review, review and share us. Review and share your boys, man. You got anything you want to close out with? Oh uh, no, man. Um, like I said, we got uh, this new equipment popping. 
And so we're going to be doing bigger things here coming up, man, with video and whatnot. And uh, for y'all that still rock with us, man, show appreciate you. Everybody that's up there in Seattle, all our, all our homies up there, hey, we fucking with y'all, man. Y'all be careful up there. And uh, other than that, that's all I got, man. All right, this is Shoot From Hit Show. We'll catch y'all next go around. Appreciate y'all. Oh.